Hello everyone and welcome back to PD2. Last time we did Aftershock. It was nice, it was quick, it was concise. We got all the loot in where our two AI teammates died, but you know, like you can't win everything. Uh, this time we are going to do Beneath the Mountain, the first of the two Point Break heists from the Point Break DLC released to coincide with the film Point Break. Uh, I'll sort out our equipment first things first. Now, this is mostly going to be nice confined. Ah, actually, I was, ah, that's not entirely true. It's going to be mixed, so we want something that can reliably hit over range as well as in tight close proximity. I could just take up a gold sniper rifle, but I don't really feel that like that would be incredibly prudent. Well, I'm kicking about my stealth weapon, so at any rate, we're not going to get anywhere there. What about the Eagle Heavy Rifle? The Eagle's quite good. Or the Gewehr. We'll use the we'll use the Eagle Heavy Rifle this time. There's our big old, big yellow, based on the Scar H, I believe. Isn't it lovely? Isn't it lovely? No, but could be worse. And our secondary, because we've got the range, I think we're going to use an SMG again. So which of the SMGs will we use? Cobra? Could use the Cobra, but I'm thinking something a little bit more. A little bit more. Let's use the CMP. You don't often see the CMP. This is a short range hose of a weapon. Oh, look at it. Oh! Yeah, CMP sounds good to me. That's my sick rhyme. I hope you enjoyed it. We're not going to use the Lucille. We'll use something a little bit faster this time. How's about. Could just use this little hatchet, but as you can see, the damage is atrocious. We're gonna let's use the Spear of Freedom, which is just an American flag bound together with rope with a pointy end. It's not very fast actually, but it's quite silly, and that's what we're here for. Uh, we'll continue playing as Wolf. We'll maybe switch out the mask though. Let's use Hockey Heat. Lovely. And let's get the heist on the go. Beneath the mountains for a new contact called Locke. He's South African, and he says lots of funny things. So keep your ears open for that. We're only on Overkill, not Death Wish. Uh, basically, there's a Murky Water, which is a which is a company of uh, private security, PMC, and such like. Uh, yeah, the Murky Water have a base inside a mountain, and it's full of treasures that they've stolen from war zones all around the world. So naturally, we decide to bust on in there and steal them all. That's pretty much it. I think this is the first time you're going to see this. This is pre-planning, where you get to look at a map of the location that you're going to and choose where to drop things. So naturally, because we don't have doctor bags, well, we kind of do by default, but we're going to put a doctor bag here, a doctor bag, um, how's about, we'll put it next to the surface elevator, here, and we'll pop down nades as well. Uh, let's see, well, we won't need them at that point, so we'll put them in here. <clears throat> this isn't the most, uh, this is by far not the most complex uh, pre-planning, it's pretty simple, this is just bags. Oh, you would, we would have seen it in the uh, in bank heist right at the very beginning, of course. Uh, there are far more complicated than that as well. I think we are ready, I do believe we are, have we got the custom, yeah, we'll do the lock and load, the heist track for this level. And let us begin, shall we? Well, new friend. Now, we have to first get in to the base, which of course, oh, it's sniped already, so not, not a fantastic start admittedly. Now, to begin with, we've got to find the necessary entry tools via these bleeping crates that you see there, and that wasn't me swearing. They are in fact bleeping. Or are they just pulsing? Well, that's the that's the question, isn't it? Got to open the shipping crate, and we've got oh, we've got the breaching charges, nice one. And we're right next to the door as well, so we'll just get all this set up initially. Of course, if there were four people, everybody would be spreading out, getting their thing. But there's only one of us, so we're gonna just have to make it work. There should be three crates kicking about the place. I only saw one of them, which leads me to believe. Oh, there's another one. These are the murky water mercenaries, probably somewhere in between the uh, tan cops and the and the green cops. I think I think they're stronger than green cops, but not quite as strong as tan cops, because you can shoot them in the body as well as the head. 
they're going to be most of what we're fighting, I think. Maybe wrong about that, actually. I don't recall. It's been quite a while since I've played this house, which is a shame. It's really good. It's one of my favourites. It's nice and uh, action-packed. Lots of things go on. Right, we've got these breaching charges, but that's not all we need. There's uh, some equipment we need to get as well. Yeah, here come the regular police. I know all about you, yeah, chumps. Well, we set that. Yeah, we better set that up so that we're not uh, planting things when the police are all kicking up a stink. And good. Now they'll start counting down, but this isn't us done. Forty-five seconds. We've got to find our equipment. Yeah, you get a mixture of uh, murky water and police. Where? Where? That's strange. Oh, there he is. Come on. I shot him twice in the body. Shoot him, please, Bonnie. Don't just charge up to him. Thank you. Nice one. Let's get the old CMP on the go. With its horrifically low accuracy stat. Good lord. There are many, many, many of them. Something just exploded. Now we probably have been the, uh, probably have been the front door. Keep the kettles away. I don't know what qualifies as a kettle in this day and age, but well, I'm sure we'll find out eventually. Right, let's get charging in. Being able to sprint and shoot at the same time is uh, proving invaluable here. As we travel through, although currently we're just sort of turtled up, so it doesn't really bear much relevance. We stabbed him in the face, and then again, and then we stabbed him in the face, and then again. Let's cut, seeing as we take 50% less damage from shots while we're interacting with things now. So, interacting with things, I should say. Get my proper English, honestly. Good lord, there's absolute jamboree out there. It's carnage! Hey, don't stop. Let's toss a Molotov in there. Oh, they shot it out of the air. Happens sometimes. What are you going to do? Answer, nothing. Let's switch this over to single shot and get the laser sight on. This doesn't seem to be helping. Oh. Why am, wait a minute. Oh, shit. Then horribly mistimed reload there. I'm taking damage that I can't see. There we are. There's that, there's that taser, that's what I was looking for before. Come on. Come on. And we swipe the keycard. Pop the CMP out for now. Because we've got to start running back. This bullet hose. I absolutely love the CMP. Like, one of the, one of the more enjoyable SMGs of it isn't actually the best. Which it definitely is not the best, incidentally. It's not bad though. It's good. I could probably get the uh, stability and the accuracy higher with the crew. Oh shit in fucking hell. I didn't expect that. Let's get him. That's the power of the CMP. I can attest to right there. Didn't get any health back for that second guy. Prove the request. Vault doors unlocking. Now, after that brief delay. Lovely. We can charge on back up here, and this will gradually open up over time. However, there's going to be all sorts of foes causing all sorts of grief for us. I'm going to charge in to get this guy. I don't have a... don't have a uh, laser sight or anything on this weapon, incidentally. Don't know what that's all about. I like to... I like to stay laser friendly. Because they prove useful often. He is dodging and weaving. Or maybe I am shooting like I'm dodging and weaving. When in fact, I'm just blind. Better get in a cover while I can't see. Oh, right in the spine. Brutal. This has proven to be going well so far. Shame I can't shoot. Perhaps it would be better to get the... Uh, this is astonishing. Where did my aim go? I was aiming just fine a wee while ago. As soon as it's... As soon as it, didn't expect that. Just wandering out of the mist. Come on now. Jiro. What? Well, shit. Looks like Jiro and Bonnie are probably going to be dead. 
What, what is she doing? Where is she going? Bonnie? <laughs> Bonnie, what? <laughs> well, I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't her crawling through the vent and she's going back to get Gino anyway. <laughs> what on earth was that? I have seen some shit in my time. That's right up there. Let's try and... Oh, is that a sniper there? I'm glad I got him. Right, let's get the CMP out again. Well, oh, wait here to... There we go. And then we'll just hose as we travel. Now, hopefully the two belated AIs will get me back up after this cloaker attack. Although they seem to kind of just be fucking about in the distance there, so I'll try and... Like, come on. Jiro. Jiro. Bonnie. Either of you. Either of you would be fine. I can cope. Either way. Pick me up, please. Pick me up. Pick me up. Thank you. Hopefully the cloaker doesn't just down me immediately. Nice. Sorted. Now, here's something that's a bit unique. We don't just have to open one vault. We've got to open four. Ares, Zeus, Poseidon, Demeter. So we'll go Ares, we'll do them in order. Ares, Zeus, Poseidon, Demeter. And now we just sort of defend. It's definitely best to get all of, at least if you're playing on your own, it's definitely best to get all of them open before you go and get all the, all the loot out of them because that's just going to complicate things. The cops will start, uh, Oh Jesus, that was quick. Uh, yeah, otherwise the AIs are going to be, uh, the cops rather are going to be turning off the turning off the override and shit like that. It's mad. Even while we're staying here, they're everywhere. There's so many, so many cops just kicking around in here. Nice quick reload on the CMP. I can definitely get behind that. Stab him in the belly while he's down. Nope, oh, he was already dead, unfortunately. Just quickly pop a reload on the Scar H here. I like that it's got a barcode on the side. That's a bit of character to it. Yeah, as you can see, at close range, nothing stands a chance against the CMP. It's just a a death fountain. He's scared. We'll stab him in the face. Try and cheer him up a bit. Let's quickly run up and check the time. Let's look at... Oh, there we go. Nice one. Ares, Poseidon, Zeus and Demeter, I think. Well, I know Demeter was. I can quickly check. It could have been Hades, actually. Sure, we'll find out in the end. See, medium ranges it does okay. Anything over that though, like 34 accuracy. The accuracy stat refers to just the spread of the gun. So it's just like, if it's anything higher than, anything lower than 50, even even then, like, it's just a hose after a certain range. 50 would be good if you had a very high fire rate. I think the uh, Famous accuracy is, uh, is about 50 or something like that. Don't remember for sure though. Because I just immediately forget almost everything that I learn. It's my own fault. Shouldn't have been up yet. This is a good, uh, good, nice, good mobility in this, uh, in this map. You can just charge around the place. Get them immediately. Just got in for the computers as soon as they know that I've turned it on. Let's stab him because he's panicking. He's lost his bottle, and that's just disgraceful. I'm at full health. That's fun. How did that happen? Not seen that in a while. <laughs> and, and other assorted jokes about my skill level. Nice. And I know Poseidon's another one I'll quickly check. I think it was Hades was the last one, but we'll get Poseidon first at any rate. Let's find out. No, 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 no. Hades. Zeus. Zeus is the, is the last one. Cool. And pleasantly enough, this will probably take us neatly to the end of the, uh, to the end of this, well, this, until the next assault wave anyway, this vault will take us. Making decent timing. There's an achievement for getting all of them open in under 11 minutes, uh, which is doable. So it's one of the, one of the easier uh, time-based achievements to get. Because it is basically a straight line, there's not much variance. I managed to do it with a team who hadn't even played the heist before, so that was something. I just said, go quick, and they did. 
Which again, testament to the public community of Payday 2. They do a decent job most of the time. How are we looking for time? 12 seconds, I can probably hang about up here if it's only 12 seconds. Love the sound this rifle makes, it's very chunky, I'll let you hear it now. Sounds very fat, like the bullets thunk, which is nice. It sounds like I imagine it feels. It's Poseidon done, and it was Zeus, right? <laughs> yeah. Don't want to be unlocking the wrong wall. Okay then. So, next part, we're gonna have to scoop up all the all the necessary debris from the various vaults and take them up a lift shaft. Well, on a little sort of gurney at any rate. Oh, lovely. Stabbing him in the side. I don't like if you stab him when he's on the ground, the animation causes him to get back up from being on the ground. It's quite funny. No, you don't. Oh, are you joking? Are you joking? Fuck you, Cloaker. As always, Cloakers are by miles the most dangerous force in the game. By miles. Tasers don't have shit on Cloakers, neither do Bulldozers. Bulldozers are a cakewalk. Apart from on Deathwish, Bulldozers don't fuck about on Deathwish, but on Overkill, Overkill Bulldozers are nothing. Oh, that panic spread's fantastic. More of that. We'll activate the... Yep, get into it now. Just thought I'd be a little safe. Didn't want to... Didn't want to test it. Didn't want to test it. I was feeling a little bit pressured. I like this, uh, I never really used the spear type weapons, but it's nice being able to sort of aim your strike a little bit better. They must have really good reach. Which I can totally get behind. Sometimes you just fall, if you fall short on a melee, it's just heartbreaking. Nope, that one. Oh, see, you could never do that with most of the melee weapons, just like selecting a target. Stabbed him in the face. There's a taser, we'll try and get in close. Oh no! The, the, the tan cobs were sponging up my bullets there. That could have been absolutely fatal. This is a really effective melee weapon. I'm going to use this more often, I reckon. Or at least an equivalent. There's the uh, the pitchfork from the Goat Simulator heist is basically the uh, basically the same damage and has the same reach. A little bit wider though, maybe it could catch on things. Right, is it done? Must be. Right, let's go find the find the unlock box. Sometimes it's a little bit unclear, I'm sure it probably came over the radio. Or it's about to come over the radio. I could check the map, but because we've got all for they're in the sorry, in the main uh, the main hall that we were just in, there's a big uh, a big map that tells you where each uh, each vault is. They all have different names each time. So it pays to check, but because we've got all of them unlocked. There isn't any supplementary loot in any of the uh, any of the vaults. There is what you get and what you get only. But that's fine, because there is opportunity to get more coming up. And I'm probably going to take it because there's plenty of waiting about in the next section. We attach a bag and we move on. Oh shit, bulldozer. Okay, we wait for him to come to us. In fact, fuck that. We don't wait for him to come to us. Really? Oh, that was my own fucking... I suck balls, honestly. I'm so sorry. There he is. Come on. Come on, Bonnie. Don't fuck about. Don't fuck about. Pick me up for God's sake. Bonnie to the rescue indeed. Oh god, that was a close call. Up you get Giro just chilling. <laughs> he isn't fast. Ah, oh, Christ. Right, close calls. Watch your ammo, she says. Truer words have never been spoken, Bonnie. Let's chuck a Molotov in there trying to... Ah, that went well. Right, we'll handle... Handle that in a minute. Let's get in there where wait for our armour. Switch back to the scar, I feel. We need to... Need to be able to just point blank drop people. What was in Poseidon again? Another thing... Oh, a server. Servers, yeah, you move slow with servers. 
It is going to take a little bit longer than it could do because, as always, you would have more people getting each thing, but obviously I'm doing it one at a time. But it's good because it lets you see the possibilities that are going to be in each of the vaults, even if it does take a little bit longer than it needs to. Master server. God, they are spreading out. They're everywhere. Let's drop that taser. Prioritize the taser. Taser's dead. There's another bulldozer. Might pay to just pop the server down just now while I... Okay. We'll get a reload out. Go on. Nice one. We'll duck in just to let the uh, let the armor come back. And then grab the server and get shifted. Okay, maybe try... Yeah, let's go around the back way to avoid some of the more intense fighting. Well, the AIs. Jiro, come on. Let's prompt him to get back out of the out of the firing line. Yeah, with things like servers, it sometimes pays to just pop them on the ground. Because in the time it takes you to do whatever it is you're planning on doing, you know, the... Uh, cops, the cops can just swamp you if you're moving too slowly, so it pays to just take a moment. Have I actually been downed? I've been downed once. I don't, I don't think I need to use the meds yet. I mean, it couldn't really hurt, but at the same time... I'm bad, but I'm not that bad. That is enough to make this trip, trip worthwhile, but... Shit. Oh, safe. Whew. That was close. Tasers are terrifying sometimes. They just... They take a surprising amount of damage. Nothing the CMP can't handle. Touting the benefits of this small submachine gun. Can't fit through there. There is a second level here, but it's more hassle than it's worth. It's a danger. Is this the last one or is there two? Yeah, there's this one and Aries. Let's take the artifact. I'm going to actually start uh, daisy chaining these two. <laughs> make sure the artifact has a curse to make sure nose look like a dick. It's definitely possible. Oh, what? Alright, we've got to open this if we can find the bloody sweet spot. Rewire. And this one's a painting, so we can still sprint with it. So we can catch up to the uh, artifact and get that shifting in the right direction. Okie dokie, that's us done here. As far as collecting loot is concerned. Jeez, oh. That took so much damage there. That was irritating. Now, this is maybe not the best way to go about this. There are so many of them. Make sure your armor stays full. Although pleasantly, this counts as medium range for uh, sociopaths, so this is a really good map for it. Yeah, the uh, the top floor really seems to serve as a platform for the bad guys more than it does anything else. Uh, it's pretty dangerous to be up there. Although I suppose if if you were in a scenario like this, playing with two people, maybe. One person could just dedicate a defend from the top floor. I suppose it adds a little bit of versatility if you were talking through voice chat. Moves slightly faster with a lost artifact than we do with uh, certain other... Well, at least the server, anyway. God, you move at a snail's pace, and that's mind I'm with the... Uh, with the mule skills. So I'm moving... I move faster with bags. Imagine if you were moving at 50% less speed with the big server. You'd literally, almost literally, be crawling. Now, I've got to remember before I go up the lift shaft to grab meds from there. Pretty fun that Bonnie managed to just squeeze through the vents to rescue Jiro, though. That's, uh, that's funny. I enjoy that. And there we go. There's another one. Now, let's quickly... Oh, my God. I took enough damage to get down there. I should have looked at my HP. I honestly didn't actually expect to take any falling damage from there, but what are you going to do? Whoops. You know, just stealing Bonnie's Bonnie's res. They just don't behave themselves sometimes. Now, got to patch ourselves up. Lovely jubbly. My word! Look at this bloody squad of them lining up. I don't have a bag. Go, go, go! And then up we go. Flying up the lift shaft, very exciting. Never seen anything like this before. Now, we get a little bit of respite again, much like when we were in the the little airlock bit near the start. 
There will be time for longer helis later. Oh, we should really well. make our escape now. Yes. So we'll move the bags to the door that we're going to be leaving from. We'll open that at some point. I'll pop down an ammo bag. Should have done that as it was opening, because then I could have made use of the infinite ammo. Beyond the door, murky water has an impressive array. We've got to radar. blow up some radar equipment. Here he is, Locke himself. Destroy the radars. Looking like a big goof. So to speak, he's very well spoken. I like I, I, I think uh, I think Locke's excellent. I think he's very funny. Very funny indeed. Right, we'll take the server first because we move so slowly with it. And we don't want things to heat up when we've got the server. So, pleasantly, we're not in an assault wave right now. But we've got to definitely keep an eye out for snipers because they will be everywhere in this segment. Destroy the radars and communication equipment. Is that the escape chopper? That's fantastic! I couldn't ask for better, uh, for better chopper placement. There's the master server. A full million in master server, but before we fuck about with that, we're gonna destroy all of the. Actually, open the shipping crate as well, because that's the that's the supplementary loot. There's any money there. Now we've got to get up onto the roof. And there's another radar there as well. Um. One. Can maybe do with a little crouch just to restore armor. Yep, safe. I'll get that taser as well. Don't want him biting us in the arse at any point. And that's one. Now, I'm gonna get the other one before I head back. Because then we have to get more C4. Oh shit. And we don't want to have to make a trip just for that. So, hopefully before this bulldozer gets here, we can... Uh, it's not looking... Well, maybe. Oh, do we need to get more C4? Maybe we don't... Oh, no, there is two. I thought maybe we only needed to use one C4 on this, uh, on this one for whatever reason. I stand corrected now. I had to... I cannot believe that those last headshots didn't kill him. Oh, Bonnie's got me, it's fine. Bonnie was there for me. She's always there. Ah, I got old Bonnie. Thank you. Now, we get back on up the way. Actually, I'll take the time just quickly to grab this money so I don't have to do it later. You move quite fast with money. It's not one of the heavier, uh, heavier loot choices. And um, we'll toss that into the helicopter. Bonnie is struggling, so I'll go help her out. She helped me, I'll help her. hit the deck before I could save her because of the hilarious inaccuracy of the CMP but that's what I get I decided to take it with me after all I like just closing the gap as well actually I'll take this opportunity to grab additional molotovs as well because you never know pays to be prepared let's move now get back up the way switch back over to the scar H I think you get an accuracy bonus for uh, for switching over a single fire. Press V on the keyboard to do that. I think a lot of people aren't even aware that you you can change your fire mode at the start of the game. I was I didn't know you could until like second uh, second rank. I thought you the uh, second infamy rather. I thought you had to had to use the hang on I'm better off crouched here. Oh, he's off bollocks it. Right now this time I missed. Ignore me. Get them down the way. Get them all this time so we don't have to come back. Grab the C4 as well. Explosives! Look, it's your favourite. Explosives! A pound to anybody who can tell me who that quote was from. Most people probably... Well, not maybe not most, but I think a lot of people would. Snipers first. No! I cleared out. Run, 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 run. Lovely. Whew. Panic there. But the artifact. And um, we're not going to be coming back up here, so we'll just use a med kit again just to get the health back that we lost there from the taser. Not bad. It's down. 
Don't, don't. Oh, loving it. Loving it. Just meleeing away. Fantastic. Let's get the objective secured first so that we don't have to mess about if it comes down to it. And the masterpiece finally. Good. Right. Now, let's get that one up there. And we are good to start refueling the helicopter. Get this money. Pays to get the loot. Probably didn't need to take it right away there. How do you even get up there? Oh shit! What am I thinking? Never gonna get on with that. There. Nice. There's another shipping crate. Gonna take this opportunity to take down that taser. I don't want him just ending me. Money bag. Do you get up there via a ladder or something? Don't often get this. Uh... Oh yeah, you do. Don't often roll this placement. Normally I get two that are on the ground and one on the top. I think you always get the one up there, or at least on the very on the very top of the roof. But you don't always get this radar here. The radar is obviously being uh, being one of the random elements. He's away. Top cack. Someone forgot to refuel the chopper. Pretty sure that would cost someone their job. Like, seems important. Get the melee kills in. We'll get the get the chopper to begin refueling just now. Shift this money bag while we're at it. Actually, let's get all of them so that we can just focus on the remainder after. It's not the most efficient way of doing it, I could just get the objectives done right away, but as always, just remain vigilant for snipers because they are what will get you. They're always what will get you. Snipers are the danger. I hate them. Everybody hates them. Who loves a sniper? Not I. Not I. Any rate, that's the helicopter beginning refueling. So now all we've got left to do, now it's an endless assault wave, I should add. So now all we've got to do is find any additional loot that may remain. Normally there's at least one gold kicking about the place, so let's see if we can't find any gold. I don't know if we've seen any gold in this series yet. Maybe though. Maybe. Oh, he's got his hat off. Don't often see a taser with their hat knocked off. Don't know how that would have happened. Maybe one of the explosive barrels went off next to him. Didn't get to see his pretty face. And a package as well. Nice one. We've got gold. That's a cloaker down, you can tell, because his, uh, his lights went out. Poor guy. Let's get Bonnie back. Honestly, Hen, what's happened to you? Is the game crashed again? Alright. So, the game just crashed again, that's twice today. I have, honestly, I don't remember the last time it crashed, but that is two times today on two separate heists, so naturally, I'm a little bit irritated. I've gotten us to basically where we were before, I don't have as much of the additional loot, so you'll get to see exactly what I've got. All four of the, uh, all four of the main things are already in the helicopter, just set up, set up to refuel. So we're gonna get back in right now. Uh, same weapons and equipment as before, I wanted it to be exactly the same. It's my control, if you will. Uh, things are going uh, pretty similarly, I'm actually gonna... I went down a couple of times, so I'm gonna pop a... pop a med right now. Not bad. Uh, that should give us ample... ample HP, providing this uh, bulldozer doesn't just kill us outright. So calls down anyway. Don't know what's happened to him. But well, we'll get them back up. So uh, yeah, played through pretty much the same as it was before, different entryway, and uh, now we've got a different different placement for the uh, for the helicopter. But it's not too bad. It's a good uh, it's a good placement. Let's use our additional defence when interacting to get Sokol up right here. And there is a sniper over there. Did I not get him? Oh no, I didn't. Go on. Shit, shit, shit! Safe. Get her armor back. 
And then we can maybe get a melee killer too. God, they're everywhere. There is a high concentration of baddies for me to do the killing of. Helicopter sounds like it's nearly refueled, but I'm going to try and get as much. Yeah, there you go. That's it, refueled. Going to try and get the additional loot as well, though, so it's not too bad. There's another gold. We didn't get any gold last time. Or we just got one when the uh, game crashed. I can't quite remember. It's been 26 minutes since then, and it was quite an insignificant detail. Good thing about the eagle. What? Oh, it's another one. Oh, good save. Yeah, a good save. A uh, good thing about the eagle is that it's actually really good for um, for when you get tased. It's very stable, so you can just sort of like pump bullets in the general direction of a taser, and it will uh, like it does high damage. It's a strong assault rifle, so it's got good knockback as well, which is quite pleasant. So it means that you can break the tase really easily, which I am all for. As you can probably imagine. Now let's just give it a quick scout. I'm not too fussed about getting absolutely all the loot, but I'll try and get as much of it as possible. I normally, you normally do wind up missing one uh, accidentally, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do at the end of the day? Quickly pop this one open as well, get the both of them at once. Hopefully it isn't gold. It is gold. That's unfortunate. Because, well, I mean, more points. More cash at the end isn't really unfortunate in any way, but... Ugh, you just walk so slowly. Alright, well, thankfully we're nearly done. So, as long as there's no more crashes, all should be well. More gold! That's four gold and one money total. As well as the, uh, as well as the objective loot. Which, obviously, that's worth about two and a half mil consecutively, so all these golds aren't really making much of a difference, but any difference is a difference at the end of the day. Ah, uh, coming up in the end, that's another one there. Six additional loot bags on top of the four, that seems like the right amount. Nearly done. Oh yeah, today just has not been good for payday. It's like it just wasn't meant to happen. Life just doesn't want me to record this. Everything's gone wrong in the last couple of days. Which I'm taking to be a bit of a sign. Or maybe... I'm thinking... Jesus, what was I meant to do there? I'm thinking a couple more uh, payday days. But, yeah, as I was saying before, I don't think I'm going to finish every single heist in one, uh, in one block of content. I'm thinking I'll take a break for a different game in the meantime. Just because... Ah, this has just proven to be a nightmare to record. It's so unreliable because of the random elements and how just sometimes you can just get cluckered. If the AI was a bit better, it'd probably be a lot easier, but to be honest, the AI isn't really as bad as I make it out to be. Maybe I'm just bad. I think that's probably more likely. Ugh. What are you gonna do, though? What are you gonna do? We're nearly done for today, anyway. Got to record more Dying Light later. But hopefully I'm not going to be salty for that. Shouldn't be too hard. Shouldn't be too hard at all. Right. Well, that's not what we're talking about right now, though. We are playing Payday. Just for a minute longer. Is that everything? That's everything. Let's clear on out of here and be done with it. Sorry about the sort of, like, abrupt change there. Like, I couldn't have anticipated the game crashing. It's really stable normally. Like, honestly, I've never seen it crash. Maybe once or twice ever, and I've sunk about 300 hours into this game, but then two almost in a row. Absolute disaster zone. Ugh. Nightmare. Either way, nice chunk of, chunk of winnings there. Sound one, thousand, uh, one million. I think you get decent experience for Beneath the Mountain. Not played it much because it didn't come out too long. It only came out... Well, it's the... Second most recent DLC, another 730,000, much like the last ice. That should be two levels up, should maybe three, yeah three, a ah, nice three points to spend. Good, good, good. We'll see what payday we got as well. Oh, this is the exciting part. Something good, I hope. Oh, a safe! That's fun. Nice one. Not kind. A body safe. Ah, the body skins are quite uh, interesting. They're all like Polynesian inspired. Ah, well, that was it for Beneath the Mountain. 
So let's take a look at the skills and see if there's anything that we want to get. We've got Ace Nerves of Steel, so we can only get first level hardware expert with fixed drills faster, which, you know, is good in its own right. Ah, well, that's that over and done with. I hope you enjoyed Beneath the Mountain. It's one of the more exciting heists. It's nice and cinematic, nice location. Very interesting indeed. Until next time, I have been Cron. This was Games Done with Cron. We were playing Beneath the Mountain. Uh, if you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, or share even. Or follow me on Twitter, at GDWCron. Also, you can like me on Facebook if you so choose. The link is down in the description below, along with my Twitter link. I have been Cron. Thank you very much. Goodbye for now.